This time on Dirty Curdy Custom, we revive a sand rail that's been sitting for 14 years. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Dirty Curdy Customs. Today we are going to pull out my wife's neglected 1970 Volkswagen sand rail. A uh, little backstory on this. Um, she inherited it from her dad. Um, and we've had it in our possession for about five years sitting in storage and um, I think it sat for I don't know maybe 10 years before that it has some ORV tags on it so we'll see what those say it's a Volkswagen I believe bus transmission um, the motor has dual carbs I know nothing about Volkswagens so this is gonna be fun it's gonna it's uh, yeah so it's buried in my storage we have to go dig it out uh, I'm gonna ride up there we'll pull it out with the four-wheeler so let's get some gas in the four-wheeler go check it out all right need some gas here Doo -doo. Doo -doo. On. Choke on. Up the road we go. Oh, headliner from a uh, Chevy Traverse. All right, don't mind the mess, folks. I don't use this much. Here it is. Whew. Look at that bad boy. All that stuff has to come off. Anybody need doors for a Chevy Traverse? Possibly one of the worst cars Chevrolet ever made. <clears throat> In my opinion. All right. We're going to get to digging this thing out. Here we go. cleaners for that bad boy I don't know we have multiple sets this thing came with so many parts it's crazy <laughs> sneak peek baby I think, sorry, I think we can pull it out now. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on, baby. Thank you. 
ramps. This is just a disaster. I probably didn't even need the ramps anyways. Come on. You want to come out. Now you're stuck. Oh. Really? There she is, folks. Him camera's gonna die soon, so perfect timing, I think. There's the engine. There she is. She's been sitting here five years. Here we go. Oh, Oregon ATV permit 2009. So, oh, what is that? It's 23, 14 years, something like that, I believe. Yeah, 14 years this puppy's been sitting. At least 14 years. Motor still turn over. Please, please. Uh oh. Oh, okay, yes. All right, turns over easy. Might be going the wrong way, but she turns over. Yes, thank you. Look at all these parts we got. I mean, this is parts. There's parts galore everywhere for this thing. Look at all this stuff I have. The guy had a Volkswagen thing. I got two sets of paddles back here. Sorry if it's dark. I can't really tell. All right. So, yeah. Plan is rebuild the carbs, change the oil, fresh gas. Fix the pedal assembly was broke, I believe. Because they were just putting this adjustable pedal assembly in and it was never fully hooked up. Uh, maybe put the back seat in. Take the paddles on, see if she still does wheelies. We're going to pull it down to the house. Alright, here we go. Hopefully we got brakes. Go ahead, Caden. got flat tires in the front too so you're gonna have to pull hard hang on okay i might have been in gear the seat knocked it in gear all right now try oh hang on let's check i don't have brakes hang on go slow all right i might have a back brake all right i barely got brakes go slow there we go Try to get on the grass too so we don't hurt these tires because they don't have air. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of brake, but I got a little bit. So we're definitely gonna have to mess with the brakes. Alright. You know this thing's actually pretty comfy. Can't wait till these lights are pointed at the sky. <laughs> yeah. We're good. Keep going. Um, where are we gonna put this? Probably right up here in front of Cohen's hoop. Alright. Alright. There she is. Gotta get her cleaned out. 
think I'm going to move some cars and figure out a work spot for this. We might throw it under cover. Man, I love this thing. It, lo I, it looks so cool with paddles on it, too. Uh, I can't wait. See, I don't know much about these Volkswagen dual carb motors. Comment down below if you're a Volkswagen guy and you know what I got here. Supposedly, this motor was like a stroker motor and it was blueprinted and balanced or something. I don't know. I don't know if this is a bus transmission. Not really sure. I believe it is. It's got the wide five pattern in the back. Not sure what the front is. I guess these are just knockoffs or something. Huh. Yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. We got some pictures of this thing too, doing wheelies back in the day. So I'll let you guys check those out, see if I can dig them up. All right, so I already know that the carburetors are dirty on this thing. We tried to start it when we first acquired it, it wouldn't run, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, pull the carbs off, clean them up, I don't have rebuild kits for them, but I think we'll pull them up, take some numbers off, look up the rebuild kits, try to clean them, throw them back on, run it that way until they get here, okay? Uh, and then obviously we need to change the oil, check the oil, uh, get the brakes working better, clean the thing up. So, but first things first, I'm gonna peel these carbs off. Sorry about all the noise, my neighbors decided they wanted to do some construction today. The guy also has this sick Camaro up there. Let's see, right there. Convertible, first gen green Camaro. I think it's got white interior too. Hey man, trying to record for YouTube over here, bud. All right. Oh, here we go. Uh, we'll take a little look. At these Delordos. I have experience with Toyota Webers. Um, never done Volkswagen stuff. And I mean, this motor looks like it was just put together and never really ran, so. Yeah. Performance Volkswagen. Not sure what the plan is for this yet. If we're gonna maybe take this motor and put it in another car that she can drive more often and then put a more tame motor in this thing or build another motor for it I'm not sure yet so and you can see this says Volkswagen thing we got just Volkswagen parts galore pretty cool anyways let's take a look in the fuel cell mm. uh, a little bit of rust scaling um i can see some chunks in there i don't know how good you guys can see in there uh, it doesn't look that bad actually pretty clean maybe a little dirty dry not bad all right here we go I believe this is uh, my neighbor's wife's car. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. <laughs> yep, beautiful car. Pretty cool.
low on oil. A little bit on it though. That's a good sign. Okay. Simple, pretty straightforward removal. I'm gonna go set up a little table and we'll pull this thing apart, show you what's in it. Alright, so it's hot, that's why I'm in the shade, so I'm sorry if the light sucks here. Um, first off, we're gonna remove these top screws. Probably whatever these jets are, or if that's what they are, I don't know. That wasn't even that really that tight. Hmm. Usually these things are a bugger. Gotta really put some strength into them. Okay. That one was tight. Know if those have to come out or not. <laughs> Got it out one piece. Okay. So this is all going to need a real good cleaning. I see. That goes around the floats. So we'll probably leave that gasket in there and try to clean it up real good like that. Okay. So now uh, you can get in here like jets we'll probably try to maybe pull those out if not we'll clean them out really good all these little holes all this junk in here it's actually not that bad i've really seen a lot worse um but yeah you just want to take some compressed air some brake clean and get this thing as clean as we can and then we will repeat this process on the other side And, uh, you know, 
Hopefully it'll run. If we have spark. So, go get the air compressor started. So I guess these are Weber carburetors. Not Delordos. I don't know. Maybe Delordos made by Weber. Ooh. Yeah. Lots of sand in this thing. Look at all the gun compounds. One done. Okay, so I have rebuilt both carburetors. I have put a new fuel filter on it um, and dumped some fresh gas in it. Uh, we topped up the oil and put a battery in it. I noticed this ground right here goes from here to here on the frame. And I don't like that. I, you know, I, I don't know about Volkswagens, but I want to run this ground over to the engine and then run a ground from the engine back to the frame. For now, we're going to try it this way until I get some new cable. Um, I haven't finished cleaning this out yet, but we're going to go and try for the first startup. So I haven't tested to see if we have spark or anything. It's starting to rain so let's see what this puppy will do okay i got updates okay batteries in here we go batteries in i had to clean the connections get a little screw in there got it tight okay so now i have good connection um switch we got lights we got power I don't see that gauge doing anything. Okay, here we go. And good connection. Bad starter. Darn it. Okay, so let's try beating on this thing. Come on, baby. Dang. 
Well, I'm going to beat on that starter and get back with you if I can get it turned over. Or look for another starter and all the parts I have. Alright, well, starter didn't go around. Starter didn't work, so we're going to pull start it. Hang on. Not wanting to go into gear. started right up I think it was a little flooded that's why it smoked we pushed it down the hill without the coil wire on and I was like why won't it start and then I was like how it doesn't have any spark and then I looked back oh no coil wire pulled it back up started first try Woo! let her warm up oil pressure gauge isn't working or temp gauge I guess that's temp gauge no oil pressure gauge Oh yeah! All right, here. I'll take it for a little rip. Remember, I did fix the So at this point, it still wasn't running very good, but we decided to throw the paddles on it and try to do a wheelie anyways.
Do it faster. So we got everything done. We got it running yesterday, but we were still having fuel issues, it seemed like. So I think it's that old fuel line. I'm gonna, uh, I think today we'll throw a new fuel line on it, permanently fix the throttle cable, and go for another ride. See if we can do a wheelie. So, but right now, um, I dug out some pictures. We got some pictures hanging on the wall. I want to show you guys the sand rail throughout the years. So, I think this, it's kind of hard to see this lighting. This is right after it was painted yellow, I believe. Um, this is when it was brown. That's it right there. It's pretty long ago. I don't know when these pictures were taken. Another one of the yellow. Here's one of it. Again, the lighting is screwing me up here. There's one of it buried when it was brown. Here's the good ones that I like. This one, jumping through the air. See the bridge in the background? That's an awesome shot. And then uh, you got this one doing a straight up wheelie. Now that's what we're going to try to do. I got some kitties trying to get in my shot. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, kitties. Anyways, we're going to do some work today. Get back with you in a minute. All right, so new fuel line. Um, let's see what else. Um, I drilled a hole through this. This kept sliding out of here, so I drilled a hole through it, put a screw through it. We shouldn't have any more issues with that, hopefully. Still need to buy a starter, but I think we're going to go. I put these tires back on. I think we're going to go up on the road a little bit so i put some more gas in it too so see if we can get it bump started this morning oh, all right first ride she's going for her first ride since she was a little girl
may be up in the mailbox to turn around. running way better got our little rip on the road i'm gonna throw the other set of paddles on that we got wait for my boy sean dizzle to get up here and we'll see if we can do a wheelie <laughs> well folks uh, there you have it we took a volkswagen sand rail that's been sitting for 14 years got it back running and driving ready for the dunes and i don't know what we have planned for it yet i think we're going to do something with that motor and then put something else in the sand rail so we're on the lookout for a volkswagen classic volkswagen uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, please subscribe, comment down below. Thank you for watching.